standing for the National Anthem. The National Anthem will be played by the Marshwood High School Concert Band, directed by Mr. David Gracie.
I am honored to present to you the class of 2010 with the words of Josh Bland. Make noise. to you the salutatorian for the class of 2010, Isabella Connolly.
Although your brains may have been disengaged since spring fling two weeks ago, since AP exams a month ago, or since the start of senior year 175 school days ago, I hope your hearts will always stay with Mark with, and with the people you and I have learned to love. of the class gift is the president of the class of 2010, Andrew Verrill. Fred Wild and Laura Lieber and myself live in South Rural. 
Director's Book Awards are chosen by the faculty in the various content areas. The students are chosen for their enthusiasm and profound interest in the subject matter, and the Director's Book Award is a recognition of that. Please come up when I call your name. Um, in the music category, Tabor Longstaff.
is one million thirty-seven thousand six hundred and ninety-two dollars. Congratulations.
has forced us to take a hard look at ourselves and, I hope, to learn from their tragic mistakes. But today we stand on the threshold of adulthood. The past is a new memory in the glow of the impending future. In a few moments, the work of a few hundred thousand moments will be complete. And we will finish the last thing we have to do, legally, to be adults. Many of us will go on to college, while some will enter the workforce and make money while their classmates go into debt. <laughs> a few will enter the military to disperse throughout the branches. A lucky couple will take a year or two or three off to figure out what life holds for them. No matter our route, there is truly unlimited potential in the contemporary world. We have a solid foundation thanks to our education and the technological prowess to build success on that foundation. At this point, we're limited solely by the depth and breadth of our imagination. It is imagination that will be the fuel of the future, not coal, nor atoms, nor wind, and certainly not oil. As Albert Einstein once said, imagination is the preview of life's coming attraction. The miraculous technology of today is a testament to the imagination of the past. We must continue this tradition, which should be easy for our class, because imagination is almost as familiar as technology. We grew up with Harry Potter and Star Wars. Dumbledore and Yoda taught us to believe in the improbable and to use the force. That's why we even look like Harry Potter tonight with these robes. Twilight, too, has sparked the imaginations of those among us. So these imaginations are likely fantasies involving Edward and Jacob. Well. But if we can imagine a better world, a brighter future for ourselves, we can start to live that dream. It starts now. No one is there to pull us along anymore. We decide our own fate from this day forward. Through the thoughtful use of the tools of our generation, we can expand our horizons and achieve personal success. I truly hope that each and every one of us can live a life with no regrets. Take chances. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. This isn't high school anymore. You'll grow through failure and learn how to better yourself. I'm not advocating a life of reckless abandon. But that being said, an open life works for some people. But what I am saying is to have confidence in yourself and to make decisions with pride and conviction. You're well prepared, so go for it. In your future pursuits, be careful that technology does not become a substitute for actual personal interaction. We've all become lost on YouTube or Facebook watching the hours pass with glazed eyes. But don't trade relationships for convenience. Don't become isolated by technology. Protect your individuality and remember your common background. Stay connected to the world, but remain active locally. And above all else, imagine. Because before you can live, before you can live anything, you have to imagine it. Now let's graduate.
to the graduates of the class of 2010 is the superintendent of schools, Dr. Jeffrey Bearden. Assisting him will be the assistant principal, Ms. Kelly Glenn.
Latika J. Brewster. Karen Joanna Briggs. Thomas 
Cooney. James Maxwell Crouch.
Nathan Wayne Godfrey. Yeah. 
Cameron John Carosi. Spencer Douglas Kilgallen. Christina Knight.
Jessica and Melvin.
ready. Brian Michael Rice.
distinct pleasure to introduce to you Adam Hosack, who will give the farewell address to the graduates of 2007. Thank you. 